We'll do two tests. Grilled cheese on its own. And then we'll do the dunk test. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh. Definitely passed that test. Now we're gonna dunk it. Oh, make this. It's so good. Make this. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. For today's video, we are going to be making a vegan tomato soup with grilled cheese. It is really cold here, so I was craving a hearty, warm soup, and I made this tomato soup, what was it, like maybe a, mo a month or so ago, and it was so good, and I've been craving it like crazy. So I'm gonna take probably four or five cloves of garlic, peel them and smash them up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. If you hear any funny noises and licking, that's just my dog, Georgie. She's right here, she wants to hang out with me. She's like my little shadow. to do a little extra smashing. And I'm gonna pop that into a little, it's not really a pot. What would you call this? It's kind of more like a wok? What is it? But I'm gonna pop it into this premium cookware. Okay, so I have that on a medium low heat and now I am going to get some basil ready. Okay, I'm gonna put an apron on. It's hard to find good basil this time of year. So I'm just gonna kinda pick through it, take out any of the wilted leaves. <laughs> <laughs> this apron's a little big for me, so I'm gonna double wrap it. But then I'm just gonna put the whole basil, little stem and all, into the pot. So if you're having a hard time finding basil, if you're following this sort of recipe, <laughs> then you could use whatever kind of herbs that you have. You could use dried basil. This is just kind of what I've found to make it, give it that really fresh flavor with a lot of depth to it is to do it this way. Oh, hi, Coco. <laughs> Georgie wants some cuddles. Hi, sweetie. She's scratching at my foot. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I'm gonna throw these into our little garlic medley and we're gonna start opening some cans of tomatoes. This is a very gourmet soup, but it's also like very easy and pretty cheap. I've had a hard time finding any vegan tomato soup that I liked, that I thought was good and that wasn't like eight or nine dollars. So this is one of those things when you're craving it and you wanna go out there and just kind of have that specific thing that you're craving. This is one of those moments. And I think this is a really, a really nice substitute. So if you have found some vegan tomato soup that's canned or box or whatever, let me know and let me know if you found one that's not like crazy expensive. <laughs> Oh. 
you think I have something for you? You guys think I have some stuff? No, these aren't for you. You would not like these. Wanna say hi? Hi. This is Georgie. She's kind of sick right now. I'm sick for a little bit, but just suggesting, huh? That's a good girl. So this is who's making those noises. This is the culprit. She likes hanging out down here. Yeah? Probably oh, five. I've introduced her to you. Yeah? I'm gonna stand on my hand. Hand stand. Okay, big girl. No, I don't have anything for you. She's like, I'll do tricks. I'll sit, lie down. So we have two cans of whole peeled tomatoes and then one tomato paste and then one coconut milk. You can do coconut cream as well, but I try to do it without any sugar in it, any added sugar. But any kind of plant-based milk would be great for this. For a long time, was it Carnation? Is that the name of the brand? Carnation had this almond milk, like almond cream or whatever, in these little cardboard kind of containers. And that was the, perfect for this kind of thing. Let me turn this down. Hey, Mama. Do you want something from me? Do you want to lie down here? Or you want to hang out with me a little bit? All right, so I had my can opener my man can opener, open the rest of these for me. Uh, Cause it was taking me back in ages. But I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting in the whole peeled tomatoes. And then I'm gonna add the tomato paste. We're gonna do the entire can of these two. What size is those? Let me see. This is the 28 ounce. Yeah. Now I'm going to add a little bit of some spices. I'm going to add some red chili flakes and a little bit of salt. Uh, sea salt and pepper. Oh, and some nutritional yeast as well. So this is probably my favorite part. I'm just gonna start smashing up the tomatoes, those whole tomatoes. If I'm being honest, this is really the reason that I like to use the whole tomatoes. It's for the satisfying squelchy squish. I have put it outside in the snow, so I think I might do that. And while that's happening, I figured I would start prepping our grilled cheese. This is going to be more of a gourmet grilled cheese, so I'm going to be using some caramelized onion, almost like a jam inside. So I will go ahead and start cooking these up. This is our bread that we're gonna be using for the gourmet grilled cheese. I'm gonna be cutting them up maybe mm, half an inch slices. Do you want the butt? While I'm making this, I guess I'll update you and while the soup is cooling outside in the snow, I'll update you a little bit on my life, what has been going on. Uh, I 
it's been a really long time since I filmed a video and that's because I've moved, oh, I don't know, so many times and have finally settled into a place. I actually bought a house, a little cottage, a little cabin uh, in the woods on the side of a mountain. So it's really exciting and it's been sort of a long time dream of mine and I'm just really really happy and really excited and it's amazing but it has meant that filming kind of cooking videos or anything in the kitchen has been a little bit challenging so I wanted to yeah I don't know wait until I had a nice a nice space this kitchen is definitely going to change quite considerably. I have a lot of plans for it. It's very, very dark. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a really kind of a dark space. And it's really pretty. I think it's a really nice kitchen, but I do want to brighten it up. I've added a chandelier here and, you know, some things that make it feel more like me. I found this old dresser just kind of cleaned it up and then took the back off of it and it exposed these gorgeous like the backs of the shelves and I actually think those are really pretty so I'm gonna I've kind of turned this into a butcher block I'm thinking of extending this and and creating a bar area here and getting some nice I don't know farmhouse stools to sort of sit and chat I think I love cooking my partner loves cooking and so putting on a record, sitting in here, having the fire going, and just hanging out, drinking some tea while we're cooking and stuff. It's just, that feels like know, pretty dreamy, pretty cozy. And that's the only thing missing from that is a place for one of us to sit. Right now we have our little side table, but it would be really nice to be able to kind of help a little bit, do some chopping while seated. If you can cook while you're seated, I mean, come on. Who doesn't want that? That sounds the dream. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have a smaller piece and you're gonna have a bigger piece. Yeah, okay. So I'm just putting a little bit of butter on. I mean, you know how to make a grilled cheese, but we're just using some vegan ingredients. And when you add a little bit of mayonnaise to this grilled cheese, it gives it a real creaminess. Sprinkle that on top. I'm gonna to be using open nature plant-based mozzarella slices. These are vegan and non-dairy, good source of calcium, excellent source of vitamin A and D. Smells good. I'm also gonna use the follow your heart mozzarella. And hopefully the combination of these two will give it a nice cheesy this is not for you, baby. So before we do anything more with our sandwiches, I need to finish the caramelized onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar just to help the caramelization process. So the soup has cooled out in the snow and we put it into this blender. I'm gonna blend it on up and then put it right back on the stove top just to kind of heat it up so it's nice and warm. And then we'll be able to enjoy our gourmet vegan tomato soup with grilled cheese. the caramelized onions. I could probably stand to caramelize them for a little bit longer, but I know we got time for that. And when you caramelize onions like this, it doesn't have that same sharp flavor. I'm gonna fold these over and then I'm gonna put butter on either side. Let's taste one. Mmm. Like very sweet. I'm gonna 
check a little bit more rosemary on the top. I'm breaking off with my fingers. I'm going to eat this now and I hope that you make it and that you enjoy. It is Veganuary, so if you are trying to go vegan or maybe incorporating some more vegan meals into your diet, into your life, maybe this is one that you could try out. It's actually really easy to find all of the ingredients. I think it should be relatively easy and it's one of those that you just want to keep coming back to over and over again. So I'm going to tuck in. See you again very, very soon. Okay. so many different like, levels of flavor. Okay, here's the real test, right? First of all, look at that. <laughs> so we'll, we'll do two tests. Grilled cheese on its own, and then we'll do the duck test. that test, now we're going to dunk it. Oh, make this. It's so good. Make this. I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> This is awesome. Mm.